Now we are only two weeks away from the official launch of Cyberpunk 2077. That is if the game does not get delayed once again. And there is something very important that you guys should know on which is going to be the next gen platform that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be the best platform to get the best experience of the ray tracing technology as well as the buttery smooth frames per second. Now I've been seeing a lot of comments on my last Cyberpunk video where a lot of you guys who actually got the PS5 and the Xbox Series X con consoles are actually thinking that cyberpunk 2077 is going to be running at 60 frames per second with the ray tracing next gen technology on but there is something that you guys should definitely know now the next gen consoles will be offering you two different graphic settings inside the game now one being the performance mode and the other one being the fidelity mode which basically gives you better visuals and ray tracing turned on and all that stuff now in this performance mode we will now be able to run cyberpunk at 60 frames per second at 4k resolution now, of course, that sounds really good and everything, but there is a catch to this because Cyberpunk 2077 will not have any of the ray tracing technology on on the performance mode, nor will it be having any higher graphic settings compared to the fidelity mode. Whereas if you want to play the game with the ray tracing technology turned on and with a better graphic settings, then the game will only be running at 30 frames per second, meaning that you're not going to be able to play the game on 60 frames per second with ray tracing turned on like most of you guys have been commenting on my previous cyberpunk video stating that you're now going to be able to play on the 60 frames with rtx technology turned on on the next gen consoles which is something that i think a lot of you guys have been misunderstanding here on how the next gen consoles are going to be performing here now one thing that i'm really disappointed when it comes to the next gen consoles is that when you're running the game on the performance mode then the graphic settings is literally going to be set almost close to how your current gen consoles are going to look like for for example, if you're playing Cyberpunk on the PlayStation 5 version, if you want to play the game on 60 frames per second, then your graphic settings is probably going to be tweaked all the way down to how the game's probably going to be looking on the PS4 Pro version. But there is, of course, one massive change here on the PS5 version, whereas the PS4 Pro version will be running the game at 30 frames per second at the same graphics, whereas the PS5 will be running the game at 60 frames per second. So the game's going to look and perform much smoother compared to the current gen consoles, but getting both the ray tracing as well as the 60 frames per second is going to be impossible even on the next gen consoles and i think that is something that most of you guys have probably misunderstood looking at the comments on my previous videos because a lot of you guys have been thinking they're going to be able to play cyberpunk with ray tracing turned on with 60 frames per second and the funny part is that even pc gamers with cards like rtx 2080 titans are not going to be able to run this game at ultra settings with 4k resolution ray tracing turned on and all this stuff because this game seems to be very heavily taxing on your hardware systems and in order to play this game on 4k resolution with ray tracing set to ultra settings you will actually need at least a minimum of rtx 3080 series now cd project red has also provided us a beautiful chart right here which basically shows us all the system requirements for the pc version now if you take a look at this here the game is going to be running at ultra settings with the rtx 2080 super card as well as the nvidia's rtx 3070 card which is also a very new card but you're not going to be able to play the game at ultra settings with the ray tracing technology turned on which means that the ray tracing is going to require more than just having a 3070 or a 2080 super cards so if you want to play the game with the ray tracing turned on on the nvidia rtx 2000 series then you will actually need to play the game on 1080p resolution at a medium settings yes that's right at a medium settings so if you want to go any higher to the high settings as well as the ultra settings then you will actually need the 3000 series card in order to achieve those performance so this i think is something that most of you guys who are planning to buy the next gen consoles or already own the next gen consoles should definitely know and i'm pretty sure that some of you guys might already know on how next gen performs and everything like that so you guys are pretty updated with all the technology and stuff but there are a few people who are currently expecting too much from the next gen consoles which is why i just wanted to go ahead and explain the situation so you don't really end up being disappointed when you fire the game up and see that it's not going to be running at 60 frames with the ray tracing turned on now if you guys are deciding 
deciding if you should go for the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5, or even if you're deciding to upgrade a PC version, then definitely get the PC upgrade because that is where you're going to be experiencing Cyberpunk 2077 as the game is intended to be played. So I really hope that this video kind of helps at least a very few of you guys who are kind of concerned about how the game is going to be performing on the next gen consoles or which is going to be the best platform that you should invest your money on. And if you guys did go on and find this video useful or if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and leave a like because your like always helps about the videos and the channel itself. So please take a few seconds to show your support to the content that I make every single day for you guys. And also, if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel that covers Cyberpunk 2077 content, everything you basically need about this game will now be available on my channel. So make sure you guys go ahead, subscribe to the channel and turn that little bell notification on so you don't miss out on my daily videos, which I, of course, upload every single day. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys have a blast already and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fans, and goodbye.